Twice a year, the legal community hosts its biggest celebration. On behalf of myself and my colleagues on the bench of the Supreme Court of Ohio, I say well done, congratulations. The state's newest attorneys took their oaths last week at the Palace Theater in Columbus. I hereby swear that I will support the Constitution and the laws of the United States. Among the 109 people shaking hands with the justices at the Supreme Court of Ohio's bar admission ceremony was Patrick Thomas Warzak Jr. It started with an idea, just kind of a wish and a prayer. At 52, Warzak's three children are closer in age to the other new lawyers than he is. After passing the bar exam two weeks ago, the Kent resident is switching to a career in the legal profession following decades in marketing. The ability to continuously learn is what drew him and so many others to the bar. Every day has been exciting, interesting and new. I feel very blessed in that regard. I hope you will feel the same way. Yes, I've accomplished some things, um, but I'm not special. I work hard. I got that from my parents. I can thank them for that. Gloria and Patrick Warzak Sr. were always there to support their son's educational and professional pursuits until last summer when he was in the home stretch at the University of Akron School of Law. My father died on Father's Day. And then two months later, my mother died. The losses due to cancer and dementia stuck with Warzak, but so did something from his Wisconsin upbringing to keep him on track to becoming an attorney. When you're shoveling snow in a blizzard, just keep your head down and keep shoveling. Eventually, you will be done. With the support of his wife and kids, Warzak is celebrating the end of a challenging four-year journey. He'll take those lessons learned from life and law school forward, applying them to his work as a lawyer Perfect. and his purpose as a person and father. At the end of the day, it's about how hard you work and about how good a person you are and the rest of it will come. I'm Chabasukos for Court News Ohio.